what it do, la, la, gang. What it do, yo. What it do, what it do, la, la, gang. Let's say happy Friday. Uh, happy Friday. I hope everybody out there is doing good, doing great, blessed, and staying productive. I am doing good, doing great. Blessed and stand productive. Guess what, y'all? It's reaction time. I'm just saying. Okay, so y'all, I've been in the comments. Uh, I was in the comments this morning, uh, going through, just replying back, responding to some of y'all comments about Miss Moolah, baby, Miss Nika, baby, Miss fucking confused, baby. Okay, see, we don't want to put the real in there. We want to talk about Moolah, but we ain't Moolahing nothing. We want to talk about yummy, baby, but... Ain't your food don't look fucking yummy. We want to talk about, yeah, baby, your situation ain't yeah. And for me, I'm just saying. Uh, so we're going to say confused. Confused, baby. Okay. She got her priorities all confused. If y'all see me this look looking this way, I am looking at a few still peaks because it's a few things that I want to go through and basically that I want to talk about. Also jumping in here, reading over some of y'all comments, as I just said before, a lot of y'all was on the same page with me talking about the same things, the same thing that we are seeing. Also going through a lot of comments, I got a lot of new info, uh, just basically about her baby daddy situation. I believe someone asked how many baby daddies did she have. Someone said that, hey, uh, that's nobody business. No, it's not nobody business. But at the end of the day, if you displaying the real and the raw, you might as well come out with it and let us know what's really good. Since at the end of the day, she say single mother by choice. But in this situation, if I have to be in this deep struggle like this and I have to display my life like this, I wouldn't want to be a single mother by choice anyway, any shape, form or whatever I can do. I would try to you know, work the situation out so he can at least help me with my kids and be here for my kids. But oops, I forgot he did leave and, you know, found somebody else and that at the end of the day, they over there doing their thing and doing good. And then you're left over here just scrapping up shit, trying to make it happen. And then that's why I would say scrapping up shit, trying to make it happen. But at the same time, want to give good words about the father or fathers of these kids. You can keep it cool and cordial. You can co-parent. You could do all those things, but I don't have to speak good on your name. Speak good on your name if I have to feed my kids beans and weenies every fucking day. I mean, how many hot dogs can you eat? Do you know at the end of the day, I think, you know, I don't even eat meat, but I think eating, you know, chicken and red, different kind of meats is better than eating hot dogs where they process all these different type of meats and then put it together. And then this is what you feed your kids. Then over rice every day. So, but then this is the same one that get on here and we're going to talk about what is his name? Hayward. Okay. Because I'll be ashamed of myself. But at the same time, like I said, when you jump into a relationship, you already know what it is. You already know what it is after you have the first baby or two or three, you already know. But somewhere in there, I guess they feel like they can work their hands and work magic or whatever the case may be and make somebody change or make somebody do different. With this case with him, y'all, he's doing absolutely nothing for the kids. And then that's where I seen in the video where she said that the kids was, the bigger kids was actually gone with the father, y'all. And I forgot the title of that video, but if you was to go back, she was cooking a hot meal. So she's saying, she was saying she didn't have to cook that much because the older kids was gone with the father. But somewhere in there, all of a sudden, in the next clip, the older kids was there. So it's like, why do you have to lie? Why do you have to lie to the YouTube streets? At the end of the day, we don't know you. You understand? This is what you speak and say as saying, we don't know you. We don't know your life. We don't know what happens when the camera is off. But surely when the camera is on, you stay lying. You stay lying. You stay fucking confused. You stay feeding your face. You stay leaving your kids without. Moving along, y'all. So then that's where I want to talk about. I also want to talk about Leah's birthday. If y'all noticed in the video where she had supposed to been going to... Uh, Leah wanted some clothes, okay? Some clothes and some shoes and some different things for her birthday. Uh, so 
she went out to Dollar General, okay? She only spending money if Naya is right on the side of us. So Naya is her little walking pocketbook. And at the end of the day, having a kid that's trying to go out there and make it for themselves, why would you want to do that? Why would you want to put all your loads and your baggages and your struggle and all that over on your child? And at the end of the day, when you want to treat her crazy or talk to her like she is not an adult, huh? <laughs> You do it right in front of the camera. So then they went to Dollar Tree, y'all. They was looking at different shoes and different items needed uh, hair hair products, okay? So if y'all noticed in that video, I did put out a short that the total was only $30, okay? Only $30. Who paid for that? Naya, okay? How do I know Naya paid for that? Look at the hands. She has the nails on. Naya didn't have nails on at the time. When it was time to pay $30, Naya gave it to him, okay? So then that's why I say she's using her daughter. I understand it's your daughter, but somewhere in there, you using her. You are using her, okay? Oh, <laughs> let me take that back. She using every fucking body, even the kids, her daughter, her supporters. She using every fucking body. And then that's where I say at the end, it's not her job to provide for you and your kids. That's not her problem. She have her own life. But somewhere in there, you keep throwing that fishing rod in there and you keep willing her back in. And then that's where I would say by if she had to take care of her child, certain things is hanging over this daughter's head. I'm just saying, y'all don't know it. Probably don't or don't feel that way or think, but that's what I think. That's why at the end of the day, hey, the light bill has to be in her name and she don't even stay here and she has to pay this bill. Not only that, I have to always get called and run to my mama rescue when she don't have enough or she don't have enough food or she need a way to go play bingo or she need to go buy birthday gifts. And then she told Leah, let me say that she will have a uh, amazing birthday just like Lena. At the end of the day, Nika, you didn't do absolutely fucking nothing for Lena. I'm just saying. Took her the family dollar that wasn't even your money. Took her skating that wasn't even your coins. That was your daughter coin. So you use your daughter coins. You use your subscribers coins. You didn't give shit. So that's why I say Leah is coming up and I don't believe she's doing absolutely nothing. So she went out and she purchased things at Dollar Tree, turned around, went to City Trend, not only just buying clothes and things for Leah, but she had to throw herself in there too. And then that's where I feel like that was money that Naya gave to her to, for her to go shop and buy those things. And then that's where her questions was asked and why does she buy Leah clothes so fucking big? And y'all seen that I made a short basically saying so she could squeeze her ass in them too. I'm just saying. Who knows, y'all? I'm just saying. Um, so then I want to talk about this birthday because when she came out of Dollar General, y'all, she said that she does not have to do anything for Leah for her birthday because Leah wanted a phone, she wanted her nails done, and she wanted certain things, okay? But she came and said she don't have to do anything because the father or the dad or the whatever he is said that he would take. But I want to know, how is it that he can take care of everything? He's going to take care of everything for her birthday, but he can't help her take care of everything right now. He can't help her with the kids. He can't help her with food. He can't help her with the beds. He can't help her with haircuts. Make the shit make sense. Either he a good father or he a dead ass deadbeat. And I'd say a deadbeat. You can't tell me different. Take care of everything. Now, Nika, it's one thing to get on here and speak the truth and allow people to understand your situation and understand what's going on. But when we sit back in the background and I'm speaking far as us haters sit in the background and we start calling you out. OK, not only calling you out by bringing you up over here on my reaction channel, but even your supporters and other people that come in start calling you out in the comments. She don't like it. So then that's where she want to turn her comments off or she want to block. Now, what I'm going to say, when you get on here and you say the dad is going to do everything, my first thoughts was she's not going to do nothing for this little girl, okay? So, if I come on and I say that the dad is going to do everything, if she does not get the things that she wants, if she does not have a good birthday or whatever the fucking case may be, it's not my problem, it's his. Then she turned around in this last video where they went, when she said she's tired of Tired of, let me see, what was the name of that one? 
tired of being stuck in her old ways, I would say. The title of that video, let me see. Yes, I'm tired of hiding behind my old ways, okay? Um, she was just saying that the father said that he would try to come to whatever Leah is having or whatever they're going to do, but it's not a guarantee. Then I want to know how is he going to try to come, but you already said that he was going to take care of everything. Which one is it? And then that's where I would say, if you know this girl has a birthday right around the corner, why is you spending your money on things that have absolutely nothing to do with nothing? And then that's where I'm going to jump real quick and then I'm going to move within there and say, it's crazy how you can go out and you purchase you a lace front, okay? Another move just thinking about self when you're showing and you're displaying that you ain't got enough fucking food in your refrigerator. I'm just saying. Then that's where I was reading a lot of comments and a lot of y'all was saying she is putting on, she is doing this for empathy or we would say sympathy so so her supporters can feel sorry or send her coins. This is a scammer. This is a manipulator. This is a dry beggar. This is the same shit that they serve in the YouTube streets. It's not that she don't have, but I will continue to come on here and act like I don't have or show that I don't have because then now cruising in the YouTube streets, I, I, I have found out that you know it's a lot of people that are feel a certain type of way for you and guess what not only will they feel a certain type of way for you but they'll start cash apping you they hard working coins and then that's where i would say for them if you're gonna be stupid why not treat you like you're stupid i'm just saying <laughs> and so moving along y'all um i want to jump back talking about the father she say he's a good father, but he's not helping you at all. He's a good father, but he's watching you feed your, his kids, okay, beans, weenies, and fucking cereal every day. She get mad at the kids and say the kids didn't take no chicken out, so the kids got to settle for beans, weenies, and rice. These kids eat this shit every day of the week. Okay, if they not eating that, they eating cereal. Then she come out and she say she picking a fixing a quick meal. She turn around, she give these kids fried weenies and biscuits. I mean, what the fuck? Where's the oatmeal? Where's the cream of wheat? Where's the eggs? I mean, where's the fruit? What? I mean, yeah. I mean, you you got you got biscuit. Where's the fucking jelly? Then that's where I want to say who raised her. But then I know it was her grandmother. Okay, but then that's where you can't blame it on nobody else but her because she's a grown ass woman right now. She know the right between wrong and right. She knows if I am treating my kids properly, if I am feeding them, if I'm doing what I'm supposed to do as a mother. She knows that. I'm just saying at the end of the day, like I said in my other video, it's not that these women actually be wanting these kids, but I will lay down and continue to pop them out thinking that I will hold on tight to him and he will stay here. And he showed you at the end of the day, I will jump shift. I don't care if you had all 15 of my kids. I'm just saying, it makes no fucking sense. And then that's where you go from him, but then you're not with him and you're not with now one of the other kids' father. So... Make it make sense to me, okay? Then, y'all, I want to talk about... Somebody was asking in the comments, don't she receive anything, any type of assistance from the government? She does. I mean, she just took us, what was it, last month on a fucking grocery haul, okay? She bought the things that they need. She filled up the pantry. She had enough. So I thought, or I mean, she had enough. It looked like... But going into her refrigerator, and I would place it on one of these sides so y'all can see, there's nothing. I mean, at the end of the day, you can run low on food when it's time to restock, but you still have certain things in your refrigerator. You have eggs, you have lunch meat down there in a tray, you have fruit, you have certain things that pancake meat, you have things that add up to make fucking something. How is it that you don't have absolutely not a nothing? Who going to send Nico some coins? I'm just saying. Who going to go in their pockets and cash out her and say, girl, I see you don't have no food and you got eight kids over there to feed. Can I send you something? 
I mean, if I got people doing that, I'd tell them too, hey, take that shit out the refrigerator, put it over there, let me show them this. Because if this was true and this was real and you get on here and you say, my kids is spoiled, my kids don't want for nothing, I provide for my kids, you will not show this. If you don't want to be talked about, you will not show this. But then that's where I say... She loves Peach, y'all. And y'all see how Peach is running the YouTube streets right now with her marriage and her situation and not knowing or trying to, um, what would I say, and being in denial about her fucking mental and how fucked up she is somewhere she need help. Using everything for a click and a view. Coming on this plan like people care if you and your husband stay together or if you left him. Like people care if you're sitting here and building and working and strengthening yourself. These people don't care. These people don't care if you turn around and be with your husband right now. These people don't care if you walked out and left your husband and now you want to somehow after having baby number seven, you want to be a single mother. I'm just saying. You know what Wood is and what Wood was and what the fuck he does when you had baby number two, baby number three, baby Jeb, when he took that vacuum and went upside your whoop, you already knew. So I believe having kids, not about how he treat me, but with him putting his hands on me, I would have been left. That would have been the time to say, you know what, if I can't do it for nobody else, I'm doing it for my kids. But all of a sudden, here come baby number seven. I need content. I need views. I need to come up with something. And that's what we do. And so many people fall for it. You understand? And then at the end of the day, when you want to get on here and you want to speak about what they display, because they saying that they displaying the real. So we want to talk about what the fuck we see. They want you to be quiet or they want to call you hypocrites because at the end of the day, you trying to tell me this and this, but you're not agreeing with me or making me feel good about what I'm doing. Stop using your subs. But hey, if they allow you to use them, I mean, why not, I guess. But if we're not on here using for a click and a view, okay, and knowing behind the scenes, this is not fucking reality. Behind the scenes, I want my husband and I don't want a divorce because I need him. I can't handle all these seven kids by myself and try to support my mental boy when, when actually in reality, you need to go sit down and talk to a real fucking therapist. You understand? Because doing this crazy shit in the YouTube streets, people is looking at you like depression is real, postpartum is real, and having a mental fucking breakdown is all real. And, and, and this is what we're seeing right before our eyes. And at the end of the day, we don't care if you divorce him or not. What are you telling us for? Okay. We don't care if you get on here and you bash your mama like crazy, but then when she comes to the hospital and she's doing shit for you, oh, now I respect my mom. She's good. Just that, that, that. I'm just saying. Moving on back to Nika, though. So that's where I throw that in. She's learning a lot from Peach Patch, I believe. So if I display my refrigerator, what is going to bring? It's going to bring now I got the people talking about me, okay? I don't like it, okay? I don't like the fact that they're calling me out on my bullshit and saying how I treat my kids different and favoritism and all those things. I don't like it. But when they do talk about me, it seems like, and that's why I say it fucking seems, that I'm I'm gaining from it. You might be gaining subs, but you're not gaining much coins. Because if you was gaining more coins about us talking about you, you wouldn't be have to wash dirty quarters off in a McDonald's cup and then turn around and pour that dirty water out. Out and then allow your daughter to drink out that cup. I'm just saying that's why we know your priorities is fu fucked up all the way. Did y'all see in the video where they was washing? That dirty cup was in that car, truck, I would say. She washed it off, washed them dirty quarters off. She pulled it out, put the cup back, then told Leah, go get the cup out the car. Y'all didn't wash that out. 
dirty. Okay. Then I want to talk about you drive around in this big ass, I want to say suburban. Okay. This is the situation here, but you can only put five to $10 of gas in it. I mean, you know, the things that you have to do. Why not just fill it up? I would say nickel and dime and everything. Then I want to talk about her favorite saying. Her favorite saying is, I love my kids. I give my kids the world. Um, I wash their clothes. I cook hot meals. Okay. And I teach them boys doing chores. Boo. As being a real mother, that's what the fuck you supposed to do. I'm just saying. You're supposed to wash their clothes and not look for uh, appreciation at the end. You're supposed to cook them hot meals and not look for appreciation at the end. When I say appreciation, like mother of the day award, or I'm giving them the word, I am spoiling them. That comes with having kids. You have to wash their clothes. You have to feed them. This is what you have to do. Okay. But then on the outside of that, you can do everything else to show I am a good mother by stop buying fucking lace fronts and getting your nails done and get these kids some fucking mattresses. Put some some churros and tables in the house where they can eat and do different things. Take them out and have fun with them instead of sending them out in the yard or clean around the house and sweep the floor or go clean the refrigerator while I sit on my ass and do nothing. You treat them like they little maids and slaves. And I said that before in my video, and that's not cool at all. You have kids to enjoy and have fun with them as well, okay? Especially when you're sending them out there to take out the trash and clean the yard and clean the house when you only giving them shit that costs a dollar. I mean, hey, buy them an outfit. Do something else with that. She can't. But I can come on here and show y'all. Huh? Now you're giving me a new lace front. No, boo. That's, you already talked about putting on a lace front wig. So then that's where I get Nika is a fucking liar. Okay? Liar. Then moving over, y'all. Let's talk about taking the kids to the doctor. Can we get content on that? Okay? You, you done did content of you making your bed up. Okay? I seen you wash some sheets. Okay. I don't know if you just washing your covers and sheets, but how about the other kids? Are you washing their covers and sheets? I'm just saying, since you say you keep a clean house, I want to know, but you got your daughter drinking out of dirty cups. But can we talk about when was the last time you took the baby to go get a checkup or something? Don't you know things like that is, is real ass, good ass content. You taking the kids to the doctor office or you know, getting checked up in, in general because you have small kids. You have Shalana, okay? Shalana just turned three. She need a checkup. Two-year-old checkup, three-year-old checkup, four-year-old checkup, and especially having a little baby. She needs the attention too. I think at the end of the day, you can care less because if you're sitting there and you have a headache and don't know that your blood pressure is high and, and your chest, chest is hurting, Chest is hurting and caving in, as you say. You don't get up and go to the doctor. You get up and you go to fucking Walgreens. How's that helping you? And then want to pop a Tylenol. You don't have time for that, boo. You got all these kids to see after and need to be here for. So I think you would get off your ass and go get, you know, go seek medical attention, okay? And stop trying to diagnose yourself, don't you think? But if she's not even taking her kids to the doctor, what do you think about herself? That's why I say the things that she is doing is the same thing she not doing for herself. Except, y'all, she's feeding her face. She's making sure her clothes match and look good. Okay? She's making sure she's not wearing the same thing from yesterday. She's making sure her hair is calm and well put together. She's making sure she eat fucking good. Even if the kids say they don't want to eat, she's going to eat good. I'm just saying. It's a lot of things wrong here. And then I want to talk about when she went washing, she said that she was bringing Leah along so Leah can help wash her clothes. Now, I could be wrong, but what's your what's your what's your problem with this with your daughter, okay? What's your problem with her? Why is it that she got to come just to wash her clothes? Don't Kaya got clothes in there? Don't Junior got clothes in there? Shouldn't you be bringing everybody so they can wash their clothes? But no, it's just her, okay? 
So that's where I say, too, I'm still talking about favoritism. Someone asked about uh, Shalina or Naya. I believe this is me. Y'all can't be wrong, but I believe Lena is 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 Naya's. OK, and I just say from observation, looking at the birthday video, how Naya came in, gave a hug, gave her the cake and the balloons. Yeah, boo. I believe that. And also how she treat. She ignore the other one and say, hey, come here, give me a hug. Kira is right there. Why you want to bring her in and hug her too? So when she get on here and she wants to speak to everybody that I, I don't treat none of my kids different. You do. Because you're not seeing what you put out. What you put out is good and great. <laughs> we trying to get these coins together to do what? Then that's where I go to everybody that purchased the beds and send her coins for the beds and the curtains and all those things. Ask her where is it, when she going to put it together, or when she going to put it up, when she's going to show you a whole full house tour and show you the boys room and the girls room. To, so y'all know what the hell is really going on around her in this home and this double wide. Um. There's no way that I give a dad a gain when he's not helping me do nothing. There's no way that I can speak good or say he's a good father when he's bringing absolutely nothing to the fucking table. And then that's where I say, but you have a, I would still call him a deadbeat and then call you one as well. Maybe he was doing a good job when he had the kids because he have his wife and then, hey, that's a force. But you can't make him do what he just don't want to do. You can make him sound good all day, but everybody that is sitting behind the the camera and that's viewing and watching is saying, hmm, somewhere in there you are contradicting yourself. Somewhere in there you are lying to yourself and not only lying to yourself, but lying to your YouTube streets about this uh, father figure that says that you say is a great father. He's not helping you because you did say when you try to tell him to cash up you uh, or PayPal you money and coins for the kids, he never do it. So either he knows what you do with the money and what type of female you are. That's why he ran elsewhere. Or at the end of the day, he really just truly don't give a shit. Because he might just be a piece of shit. But he might be something good and great to somebody else. But all that he can give you is what the fuck you are giving yourself. And your fucking kids at the end of the day. Anyways, y'all, that's it. That's all for this reaction video. If y'all like this reaction video, let's throw those thumbs up. Uh, I also want to say, don't forget to drop y'all comments down below. Tell me what you think about this whole sit-yo, sit-yo. And I have to think about what I'm saying. Also, don't forget to subscribe. But y'all already know, that's only if you want to, okay? And yeah, tell me what y'all think about Nika and how now we can really see she is really fucking lying, okay? So, I'm just saying. Then she tell her son and then I'm out for here. He, he don't want to get in the car because he want his phone. These kids are disturbed. They don't have shit to do at home. And then you got that leaning ass TV over there in the corner. What can they do to occupy their time besides picking up trash, cleaning the floor, mopping the floor, washing dishes? We ain't really washing fucking dishes. We washing out fucking paper plates and cups. Come on, okay? Come on. Okay, what else can they do? Do they have toys? Do they have game systems? I mean, do you take them out? Don't do shit. Don't do absolutely fucking nothing, but come on here and yell at what they don't do. They tie your shit. I mean, they can be a kid, but kids get tired too. Kids get tired of eating the same shit. Kids get tired of being treated, treated certain ways. Kids see that shit too. As look how my mama doing. Look what my mama doing to herself and her her. But she got us walking around with these four puff balls in our head like we some infant or another. I'm just saying, get up off your lazy ass, boo. Don't nobody care. Don't nobody care what you got going, what you trying to do, what you trying to look like. Because if you spent your coins on the lashes and the lace front, you could have spent your coins and, and bought some food and put in that fucking refrigerator. Huh. What's wrong with oatmeal, y'all? I mean, do we not buy oatmeal? Do we not buy macaroni and cheese? Do we not buy things? I'm just saying. Fried weenies in a biscuit. Lord be the Jesus. I ain't even got no fucking syrup or jelly. Just a dry ass bread and a greasy ass processed hot dog. Anyways, y'all, 